When a group of young girls snagged the parking spot a dad had patiently waited for, what felt like an eternity, he plotted his retaliation. The outcome was nothing short of brilliant. It serves as a reminder, never underestimate the power of experience. An unnamed dad, who we will call Tom, had an unfortunate run-in with rude girls when he was simply trying to take his family out for a nice meal at their local Applebee's. We've all come across youngsters with an attitude who try to push the limits to see what they can get away with before anyone stops them. But Tom wasn't the older, easy target the young ladies had hoped for. In fact, they learned the hard way that when you disrespect your elders, you are likely to invite unintended consequences from people who are much wiser than these millennials. That's exactly what happened to these girls when they crossed paths with Tom in the Applebee's parking lot. I took the family out to eat at Applebee's. The lot was full and I saw a customer come out to leave. So I waited for him to pull out and take the spot, Tom recalled in a post on Reddit. The guy pulled out and a car full of young girls just pulled into my spot. You know the type. Indeed, we all do. Well, I rolled down my window and told them I was waiting for that space. The driver says, too bad your name wasn't on it. I was livid but just waited for another space and went in to eat. However, things were far from over and these girls would learn their lesson before the night was over. As Tom enjoyed dinner with his family, he saw the girls at the bar doing shots and getting wasted. Little did they know they were providing Tom with the perfect opportunity to hatch a plan. We enjoyed our meal and paid the waiter. I then asked the waiter if he wanted to make 20 bucks. Unfortunately for the unsuspecting and intoxicated girls, the waiter was definitely interested in the quick cash. I asked him to go up to the girls 10 minutes after we left and tell them they got a call from someone that said that they had keyed their car and that they should have parked somewhere else, Tom continued in his post, adding, I did not key the car. He only wanted them to think that their car was vandalized as retaliation for their disrespect, but he didn't actually damage their car. However, things didn't end there. So what happened? Well. According to Tom, he called the waiter about an hour later to ask how it went. He said they all went nuts, screaming, and even called the police, Tom relayed, adding as a bonus that the cops came but found no damage to the car. However, officers did take notice that the girls were too intoxicated to drive. So they watched and waited. Cops left and circled back and watched the car. The girls came out, got in the car, started the car, and the parking lot exploded in blue light. Busted DUIs and PDS for all, Tom said, referring to public drunkenness citations. Where I am from, the key just has to be in the ignition for a DUI. The car doesn't even have to be running, he further explained. Cops here have a lot of leeway and only need to detect alcohol on the breath to arrest you on that charge. I suspect the girls were all ugly to the cops, so they got PD. I did not know about the bonus until a week later. When I went back for a few beers, the waiter recognized me and told me the bonus story, laughing the whole time. Another $20 to the waiter. Best $40 I ever spent. Some have criticized ruining the young girl's lives with a DUI, but at least he didn't go all Kathy Bates and fried green tomatoes on them. For those who are unfamiliar with the reference, Kathy Bates' character waited for a parking space. A group of girls cut her off, hopped out of the car, and told her that they were younger and faster. So Kathy's character plowed into the young girl's car and said, face it girls, I'm older and I have more insurance, classic. But I digress. As many readers pointed out, perhaps more important than the revenge, this dad inadvertently kept a drunk driver off the streets and likely prevented something terrible from happening. He might have even saved these girls' lives, as well as the lives of anyone else unfortunate enough to cross their paths. A DUI was really the least of their worries. Undoubtedly, skepticism surrounds the authenticity of this tale. Without concrete names and evidence, it could simply be an urban myth. Nevertheless, it imparts a crucial lesson. Karma remains unfailing and challenging the wisdom of elders often leads to regret. Life's trials tend to impart wisdom beyond measure. What do you think of the story? Let us know in the comments section below.